Hi, my name is Eric, and in this video, we're going to be talking about a Keurig versus an Espresso. Um, I've actually got both of these in my house right here. Uh, I've used the Keurig for a very long time, recently switched over to this, but I want to talk about a couple misconceptions and kind of show you these two uh, machines next to each other and also the type of uh, product that they produce. So the first misconception, I think, is the price, right? So uh, this machine, I'll put it up on screen, and I'll have uh, links uh, to the Amazon um, pages where you can get these, but I believe this one right now is about $98 and this one's about $123. But one of the misconceptions that I had was that Nespresso pods would be more expensive. So um, if you go with the ones that are the Nespresso brand, they are, but what I've found is these Bespresso are pretty tasty. I've actually got a variety pack of these and uh, they are about 33 cents if my memory serves me correct on price. Uh, one of the good reviews that I read on Amazon, the guy left a great review and he said uh, when you're making an espresso, uh, the crema, so when you see it when it fills up here and I'll fill it up here in a second, um, the crema uh, a lot of times is dependent on these cheaper pods, you need to just loosen it up a little bit. I guess kind of like it's a can of skull, right? So for this one, you just drop it in the top and then you just close it and that's ready to go. And same thing with the Nespresso, or excuse me, the Keurig. So uh, as you can see, you have the different size uh, glasses. Uh, Americans were, were used to these kind of larger glasses, but what you can do is you can set up the size that you prefer uh, for the Nespresso too, and I'm gonna show you that in a second here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start these at the same time, show you what the product looks like, but show you how long it takes to brew a uh, cup as well. So let's get to that video here in a second. All right, so this one right here, it is ready once it is green like that. Uh, you'll press it once and when it's blinking, that's saying that it's getting ready. Same thing with the Keurig, okay? So I'm gonna start these at the same exact time. What I'm gonna do here in a second is I'm actually gonna cut open the um, Keurig pod versus the espresso pod and show you what they look like uh, compared to one another. So let's get these started. So this gonna bigger. So you can see for whatever reason, as far as the speed, the Nespresso um, kicked out the uh, beverage a lot quicker. So the way you get this crema here, and uh, hopefully you can see this fine on camera, uh, when you're looking at this uh, crema, uh, and that's what this is called here, that uh, kind of uh, foam on the top of the here, is because the amount of uh, pressure that the machine is using to force the coffee through, uh, or the water through the uh, grounds inside of the pod. So that's what creates that, and it's kind of, uh, from my opinion, or in my opinion, I kind of like the way that that tastes, uh, because I've been getting into drinking my coffee and espresso black. So that's one of the reasons that I got this, is I like the uh, crema on the cup. So you can see that. You're not gonna get a crema, obviously, on a Keurig. Now let's take a look at what the inside of the pods look like after they've had that put through them. When you open that, it drops down into the machine itself. So if I open this here, you can see that there's a bunch of pods sitting in there. So you just have to empty that maybe, you know, once a week or every like 10 drinks or so. And this one, you have to empty each one. So what I want to do here is I want to actually open up uh, two of these here. <laughs> and that one kind of shot all over a little bit, a little pressurized. So this is what the inside, what the grounds look like on a uh, Keurig cup of coffee. And I mean, this one's called Bustecolo uh, Cafe. It's kind of like an espresso style, but of course it's going through a Keurig machine. It's not getting that high pressure that a Keurig machine, uh, or excuse me, that an espresso machine will provide. So this one is what the inside of this looks like. Let me open it up a little more. And from what I've read, because I've actually never opened these before, and this is true, is the grounds are much finer on the Nespresso. So you can kind of see it, how they are very um, fine here. I don't know how well you can see, let me zoom in on there. All right, so these are the grounds on Nespresso. Okay, and then these are the grounds on the Keurig. So much coarser. 
Okay, so what that allows you to do is the Nespresso machine is able to feed um, water through at a very high atmospheric pressure to create this crema and a different type of beverage at the end. So it's really just a taste preference. There's not one that's right or wrong. I tend to like the Nespresso more, but sometimes I like having a big cup of coffee, so that works out well. Um, and it's just kind of a taste preference for you. One last thing I want to talk about is the difference in caffeine in these two. So by volume, there is much more caffeine in an espresso than a coffee. But one of the common misconceptions is that there's more caffeine in a drink of Nespresso versus a drink of a Keurig, and that's not true. Uh, if you're gonna drink one of these, you're gonna get much more caffeine from a coffee, typically. Uh, now, if you were to drink the same volume in Nespresso, then yeah, absolutely, you'll get more caffeine. But I'll put some uh, numbers up on the screen to show you and put it in the description below. Um, but uh, from what I've read, there's actually less caffeine in one Nespresso drink than there is in one coffee drink. So if you're worried about caffeine, um, as long as you're not drinking two, three, four of these to make up for one, coffee, uh, you will actually get less caffeine, but more caffeine by volume. So one of the reasons I like this too is, I mean, of course you are staining your teeth if you're drinking coffee or an espresso, um, but uh, if you're drinking a, a less volume of it, but a little bit higher potency in caffeine, it's less fluid going in too uh, that was going to stain your teeth. Now, maybe that's not true, but that's what I believe. So so that does it for this review video on Nespresso versus Keurig. Uh, my personal preference is the Nespresso. My wife likes the Keurig. Uh, it's really up to you what your tastes are. You know, go to a coffee shop, try an espresso, uh, or excuse me, try an espresso, try regular coffee, you probably know what that tastes like. Um, but I'm gonna put links in the description below, also in the top comment. So if you're looking for the pods that I use, you can find reviews on those for Amazon. You can find the best prices on Amazon. If you use my link too, I'll get a little bit of a cut of that. Uh, for the Amazon affiliate link, and I appreciate that. Uh, so any questions you have, put them in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to be answering those and also trying to add any kind of content I can in those comments as well. So thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And uh, yeah, hopefully you like the Nespresso machine as much as I do. I really enjoy mine. And uh, yeah, it's kind of changed my morning up a little bit, and I appreciate just kind of uh, sitting down with a cup of Nespresso instead of a coffee. So all right, good luck and take care.